So the question that we're going to ask and attempt to answer today is, can a $15 carburetor from Amazon fix my chainsaw? And in the interest of full disclosure and transparency, I'm going to post this video no matter the outcome. Hello everyone, Buck Weezer here. Welcome to Buck's Small Engine DIY on YouTube with another riveting, dare I say, scintillating do-it-yourself how-to video. True confessions, guys. I hate chainsaws. Of all the small engine power equipment that I get to work on, chainsaws are my least favorite. You know why? I think there's three reasons. First of all, they're two cycle engines and I'm not very good at them. The chain sharpening, the chain is a real pain. But I think the main thing is they're always greasy, oily, dirty messes. And I just don't like working on chainsaws. And I guess that's why I have three of these that I've accumulated over the years that have been sitting in my shop and none of them run. Problem is, today, I need one to run and I got to get one of them going. Why is that? Well, it's this little branch over here who took a fall from this big tree a couple of days ago. He went through the fence, yep, and it actually came just within inches of my pool. Uh, we've moved it and cleaned it up except for the parts for which I need a chainsaw. But it was dangerously close to my pool. My pool was spared destruction just by mere inches. So that's good. You want to see some photos of that? Here you go. So we're going to work today on this Echo CS345. It's been here for a couple of years. It doesn't run. But we're going to give it a shot. See the mess? Just oh, It's just a mess. We're going to give it our best shot and see if we can get this thing running. Now, I'll tell you, first off, it does have compression. Put my compression tester on it. And it uh, had like 125 pounds. You know, I pulled the rope about 12 times. So that should be good. It has spark. I put my spark tester on it. So I'm thinking it's just going to be fuel, and I'm wondering if a cheap Chinese-made aftermarket carburetor can get this saw up and running. Let's find out. Well, here's a look at our chainsaw. I've drained out the old fuel, and the carburetor is located right here behind this cover. And it, it, it's kind of hard to work on because it's back in this little rep compartment air cleaner comes out of the way. So here it is back there. That's just kind of that's just kind of hard to get to. I think I'm going to take the uh, the blade off just to get it out of the way and to give us a little bit more room to work back in there. Meanwhile, here's our here's our carburetor kit. Fitbest is the brand. It's made in China. Surprise surprise. And in this kit, got a little piece of fuel line, carburetor. Hope oh, that's the right guy. That air cleaner looks the same as the one we took down. Fuel filter, spark plug, new primer bulb. Vent, gas tank vent. I don't even know if all of these things apply to this particular model, but. And a couple of gaskets. You know, if it works, 15 or $17, not bad. So let's get about taking out the other one and installing this one. So the challenge with this guy is just <clears throat> the tiny little area in which it's all shoved and crowded in there. I mean, wow. <clears throat> so we got a little choke arm here, got a short piece of hose that goes up to the primer bulb on top. 
tiny piece of hose coming out of the tank up here. Uh, it's it's just a really small tight area. Take out these screws, and so this front plate holds on the, the the cover. This washer came off the end of here, so you got the bolt, two washers, then the air cleaner cover bracket. Okay, so that then we've got this is our uh, this is our choke mechanism, so he's coming off next. This is the kind of job where I'm glad I'm filming it because I might have to come back and watch it. Let's pull him out if possible. At least that much out of the way. Okay, we're going to try to pry off that fuel line. It goes to the primer bulb. So we're kind of coming out here. And I can't quite see. Alright, let's see if we can take this uh, piece of uh, hose off. Okay, got that. Uh, all that's left is the hook on the throttle. There. And he's off. He doesn't look too bad, really. This might be the kind of thing where we could buy the kit and rebuild it. Well, there's our two carburetors, and they look completely identical. With the exception of the word Walbro on the original. So, I guess we got the right piece. Let's see if we can carefully put it all back together and put it in there. The gasket is still up there in the back so I'm not going to take it off. Uh, I think I, the last thing I did was this hook for the throttle. So let's start with that. Good. Next I think it was Oh boy. I think I I think our adjustment screw is to fit inside that rubber sleeve. So I gotta figure out how to make that happen. Okay, I got it. Now, I'm gonna try to put this little piece of fuel line coming out of the tank onto there. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing. We're working in tight spaces. Alright, that's my next step. And I'll be right back. Alright, I got the fuel line connected. Now this line it goes to the primer bulb. That one's pretty easy. I'm ready to move the choke me mechanism back on. Okay. I think I'm ready for our bolts. This is going to have to go through there. through there. Oh, that one's started. That one's not. There it is.
easing them in lightly. Okay, so the choke mechanism is working as it should. That feels good. It is. I'm going to use the slotted screwdrivers to get a little tighter. That still works. Alright. I think we did it. It's on there. I don't see any need to replace the primer bulb. It's in good shape. Uh, the um, I, it appears that the hoses are okay. They don't appear cracked or broken, so I'm not going to mess with them. There's our air filter, and then we can put the cover back on. But I think I'm going to see even before I do that. I'm going to see if I can get it to. Well, we'll add some clean fuel mix and uh, see if it'll run before we put it all all those steps back together. All right, gas oil mix. And I don't think I need to put the bar back on to just test out and see if it'll run, do we? Let's go out, let's go see if it'll fire up. Press the prime bulb a few times. There's fuel. We'll apply the choke. Lock the trigger and pull it. Well, that was something. exciting let's put put it all back together and see if we can cut some logs I think I need to play around with the adjustment and box out a little bit if I give it full juice and even at idle it's running a little too fast so let me see if I can play with those high and low adjustments real quick and see if anything better comes of it
Well, we did it. I'd give it a B plus. I don't think it was running in A plus condition, but it ran good enough to do the job that I needed it to do. Never conked out on me. Just went straight through. And uh, so that feels pretty good and it wasn't that hard. I think as a follow-up, I may just keep that original carburetor, that Walbro, and order the rebuild kit. It's not that hard. And I don't know how long the cheap Chinese replacement carburetor is going to last, but it might be worth just having the other one to rebuild it and put it back together. And uh, yeah, that's all it took. I can't say that I like chainsaws any more than I did before I started, but at least I got the job done. And uh, I guess now I'll have to fix the fence. So yeah, you can fix your, your chainsaw with a cheap $15 carburetor. We've proved that it is possible. I thank you for joining me on the video. Your comments and questions in the discussion and below are always appreciated. And uh, <clears throat> That's it. That's it for today. Remember, guys, only you can put the do into do-it-yourself. I will see you on our next video. Bye-bye.